What's up YouTubers, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a look at yet another new release from Joy Toy. This time we're looking at The Risen, Rego, and you can see here he's in the 118 scale. On the front of the package is a great looking drawing of the actual figure. If I tip the box up, on the top of the box it says Joy Toy, as well as the bottom of the box. Each side of the box says The Risen, Dash Rego. And if we look at the back of the box, you see a great picture of the actual figure and all the contents inside, as well as some of the other product information. Let's flip the box back around, and you'll see it has a flap right here, which is held together by two Velcro dots. On the inside left of the flap, there's an absolute beautiful picture of Rego all geared up. And I apologize for the glare, but you can see Rego the figure, a sword, his jetpack, a footlocker, and in the back there, looks like his armor. So, I'm anxious to see what this figure actually looks like, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Here we have everything laid out on the table so we can go over, and my first impressions of looking at this figure is, wow, that's not a word I use too often. We'll go over all the accessories individually, and first and foremost, we'll start out with the included pamphlet, and this says, the Risen Dash Rego. Let me get this into focus. There we go. If I open it up, you can see the figure inside with all the included accessories, and he's actually geared up on the right hand side. If I flip it around the back, it's a disassembly example, which is absolutely handy if you want to take the figure apart and do some customization. I really love how Joy Toy continues to include these with all their figures. And I have to apologize up front, I'm using a new camera, so I might have to adjust the focus here and there. Next we'll take a look at the jetpack that's included. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Got some silver boosters on the side with the cautionary tape wrapped around it. Got silver in the center with the tail wings. White wings on this either side. Great detail on the top. If I flip it around to the back you can see there's no shortage of detail on this uh, side either. And right here is the actual peg to peg into the back of the figure. Absolutely great detail on this and I'm happy to have another aerial figure for my collection. Next we'll take a look at his body armor over here. And this is painted a nice shiny brass color. Nice texture on the front with the armor pads. Got black highlights on the back here. And this is nice and flexible. So I don't think we're going to have any issue getting this actually on the figure. Next we'll take a look at his foot locker and this is in a smoky gray color with the caution do not touch emblem on the top. We've seen these before. Great hinge system on this and that's so you can put all his accessories inside if you need to. Nice detail all the way around on this whole thing. There's that hinge and I'm really happy to have another one of these in my collection. Next we'll take a look at the included hands and let's talk about these for a second. He has a two right additional hands for some reason. Um, this particular hand right here is a close grip hand whereas the right hand on the figure itself is a trigger finger. Grab my tweezers here and let me see if I can't get this into focus. There we go. Really great looking detail on this all the way around. Nice detail on the top. Grab the next one. And this is where it gets curious. This actually looks like the same exact hand. I looked at it really close and I don't see the grip or the uh, the closure on the fingers any different than the previous one, but we have two of these. Lastly, he comes with an additional left hand. And this is more of a trigger finger hand for the left hand. See all the great detail on this. He also comes with a set of binoculars right here. Bring these in close so we can get a look. These have absolutely fantastic detail. Especially for the size of these. Detail all the way around. Alright, let me grab the helmet. And this is absolutely amazing. With the silver highlights and black wash. 
the bright red visor. Fantastic detail all the way around. Horse on the back, as well as the top. Now, this is actually an additional head. So it's not a helmet that slips over his existing head. So you pop off that head and pop this one on. Whoops, let me see if I can't get that to stand up again. There we go. And he also comes with some weapons. He comes with a sword, a pistol, and a rifle. And I think we'll take a look at the rifle first. This is very futuristic looking, done in silver plastic with a black wash on it, black buttstock and handle. Great detail on this side, and here you can see the black canister or ammo canister. You can see how it captures the light a little bit there. Next, he comes with this pistol, and this is actually a bronze color. Trying to see if I can't capture the light. It is a little shiny, so it reflects the light nicely. I really like how it has the hand grip on the bottom of this. The black highlights on the bottom right there. And last but certainly not least, let's take a look at this beautiful sword he comes with. Get this in close so we can get all the detail on camera. Absolutely devastating looking futuristic sword with the silver blade and gold highlights right there and black handle. It's nice and thick. Great detail on this side too. And I really love how this is the first time we're seeing this sword. So this is a new weapon that we haven't seen in the past. And last but certainly not least, let's take a look at the paint and sculpt on Rigo himself. And just like I said in the beginning of the video, wow. This thing is absolutely amazing. And the effort and time that they put into this paint and sculpt is phenomenal. All brand new parts from the waist up, which includes the head and the arms. Let's start by looking at his face. Great looking sculpt on his face. And if I turn his cheek this way, you can see the actual metal on his skull under the skin. Short brown hair. Great looking profile. Moving on down to the chest, you can see all the cybernetics right there. Absolutely amazing detail around the base of his neck and chest cavity. Coming down to his waist, if you look on the right side here, you can see the cybernetics under the skin on his rib cage. Looks like he's been through the war for sure. Open healing wound on this rib cage, and another open gash on his upper left pec. We'll come down to his belt. The belt is completely removable. Dark green pouches on it with an extra ammo clip on that side. Looking down at his thighs, you can see the brass armor that matches his chest armor. Now his pants are a greenish brown color. I'm not sure if that's coming off on camera. And nice brown leather looking boots. Let's take a look at his cybernetic arms. Bring these forward so we can get a better look. Now these are a brand new sculpt. Seamless detail on both of these arms. Cybernetics all the way down to his forearm and his wrist and his hand. I love how it ties into the chest cavity. And the same thing with this arm. Same cybernetic arm, all the way down to his hand. Just amazing detail on this figure. If we flip around to the back, and look up at his shoulders here, you can see the detail carries around back here too. All tied into his right arm and just enough shading down the center of his back to bring out all the musculature. Some more pouches on his belt. Again, brass armor that wraps around his legs completely. And right here is a holster, which is nice and flexible to put his pistol in. And I'll flip him back around to the front. 
Now, when I saw this figure on the internet, unpainted, I knew that they were going to put a lot of work on this figure, but I didn't realize just how much until I actually had this in my hand. He has absolutely risen to the top of my favorite figures in the Joy Toy collection. This is such a great addition to my army, and I really love how Joy Toy is going in all directions with their figures. Whether it's modern, futuristic, space, game related, history related, I mean you name it, they're covering it. I really like putting the weapons in the figure's hand to show you how well they actually hold them or not. Right now he's holding on to the pistol and you can see he's sighting down that perfectly. If you want to you can actually bring that hand up underneath to cradle it but I figured he's a cyborg so really doesn't need two hands on this pistol. You can see his finger is on the trigger and he's got a nice tight grip on this thing. Next I put the rifle in his hand. As you can see his finger is on the trigger. That buttstock is rested against his chest. The other hand is supporting the front of the rifle. He's sighting down this thing like a champ. And he's not going to drop this thing. So, we're two for two so far. The one I was most curious about. He's holding on to that sword really nicely. I went ahead and removed both trigger figure hands. And re right here. And replaced them with the closed grip hands. He's got two hands on that handle. He's getting ready to give that thing a swing. And let me just show you here. Now you can actually manipulate it down in front of him if you need to and kind of get him into that Thundercats Lion pose. And take a hand off here and I'll show you just how well he grips onto this with one hand. He's not going to drop it at all. Nice tight grip. And this thing does have some heft to it. So you'll have no problem putting your figure posing skills to the test with him. Looks like we're three for three. Now before we jump into the articulation, let's talk about the figure for a second. Now right out of the gate, I've handled a lot of Joy Toy figures and maybe it's just me but I believe they're using a new type of plastic for at least the entire upper body of this figure. It feels a little bit more flexible and pliable than any of the other Joy Toy figures that I've reviewed. And that's actually a really good thing. It's not gummy at all. It's just got a different feel to it. It has a little give to it, if you will. Alright, let's get on with the articulation. His head can move left and right. He can look up about this far. And he can tuck his chin in this far. Coming over to the shoulders, he can raise his arms up about this far. Of course, these rotate 360 degrees. Coming down to the elbow, a nice tight 90 degree bend right there. Of course, that rotates 360 degrees if you need to. Coming down to the wrist, these rotate 360 degrees. Now, this particular wrist goes in this direction. To better hold on to his weapons, of course, and this wrist moves in the opposite direction. Down and up. Moving on down to the waist. Let me get these arms straightened out first. He has a diaphragm cut right here. And you can rotate him side to side. He can go really far back, but you don't want to do that because you can pop him right off. Pop that back on. So it goes about that far. And he can ab crunch about that far. Coming out to the actual waist itself. That rotates side to side. Let's go down to his legs. He can do the splits. Right here. And it's hindered a little bit with all the thigh armor. He does have that upper thigh cut right there, so that rotates. And wait for it, he can actually do the Spartan kick this high. This is Sparta! 
Can you tell him I'm a fan of that movie yet? And he's got a double knee joint, which is hindered, of course, by the upper thigh armor. Right there. Not going to get a really great tight bend with that armor on, but let's move down to his ankle. This is on a rocker. He can point his toe up only about this far because of the shape of a boot. Point his toe down this far. And of course he's got that toe articulation, which gives us more than enough articulation to satisfy any 118 scale figure collector. Let's wrap up this video by doing some comparisons with other toy lines in the 118 scale. We'll start out with the Boss Fight Studios Spartan figure. Next, I'll grab another Joy Toy figure from the Spear Army. I'll grab a Marvel Universe Captain America figure. And last but not least, we'll bring in a 50th anniversary Outback from G.I. Joe. And this gives you a really good sense as to how this figure actually scales across multiple 118 scale toy lines. Well, this is going to conclude my review of the Risen figure, Rego from Joy Toy. From his absolutely incredible sculpt work, amazing paint job, fantastic accessories, and of course, Joy Toy's amazing articulation, this figure has definitely risen to the top of one of my favorites. As I said earlier on, I really appreciate Joy Toy's innovation. They come up with brand new ideas, brand new figures, continually improve on their product, and I can honestly say with the exception of maybe one or two of their current mechs, you can actually get their products quite easily, unlike some of the other really large toy distributors today. And if you have the means and you like this figure, go ahead and add them to your collection. And as always guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, join the community and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for future notifications of upcoming videos. And of course, don't forget to help a fellow collector out and share your knowledge.